Hi Stampers! Welcome to Watch It Weekly Wednesday. Today I'm going to do red and white cards. I love red and white. You can't tell. Look at my nails. They're all red and white and sparkle. So it's one of my favorite color combinations for the holidays. I just love it. As you can see, Aubrey gave me this for my birthday. And anyway, I just love red and white. So I'm going to show you this stamp set, the Frosted Gingerbread stamp set and the dies. They're really a lot of fun. And then I really love this Holly Jolly Wishes too. I think it's very complimentary with the different sayings in this stamp set so you can mix and match them. And I wanted a little bit bigger of a saying Merry Christmas to you. So I'm going to use that in this card. And I love the peppermint candies in here. So it's almost... I'm just using these two stamps and a saying, so let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do just a little background around here, tone on tone, and you can just have your stamp go back and forth and just turn it, have it go off your paper because it looks better, at least I think it finishes it off. So I just kind of turn the paper as I'm stamping. Have some come off a little bit here. And if you want to go back, you can go ahead and put this in it. But I think I'm going to use that for the paper. I'm going to go ahead and stamp this little piece. It's going to be a little flag piece of paper. So I'm kind of making my own DSP here. Designer series paper. And, but I want to be able to use this little other stamp. So I'm doing the bigger pieces first. Then I'm going to come back in with this little guy, just the filler. It's kind of like a splatter stamp. It fills in the blanks where you, if you want to, but it's fun to be able to have. And you can even have it stamped on top of. And red sometimes on my stamp pads it needs a little bit of drying, so let me go ahead I'm just going to make a banner with this. I'm going to go ahead and cut in the center and then go up to the center to make a flag. So, got one. Now I'm going to take the Gingerbread DSP2. They come in 6x6 six six and the cool thing is they have the red and white plus they all have the gingerbread color. So it's a really good combination of a suite with all these beautiful colors. But of course they have red and white. So I've got this little design here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm not popping these up. I'm just going to pop up the same. So this is a very simple design. And I use this a lot on masculine cards because it's just super simple. And if you have a designer series paper and a saying for a masculine card. It works great. Okay, so we've got the other banner like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and do Merry Christmas to you in the real red. Merry Christmas to you. Alright, of course we need dimensionals on this to pop it up and I'm going to kind of make it look like a ornament this round size and it's about a two and a half inch circle from our circle dies I'll put four on here I won't get too crazy <laughs> okay so this is kind of where I want the Merry Christmas to you but I'm going to go ahead and put a piece of our little cording on there and I'll use um, a glue dot for that and I'm going to kind of stick it behind I'll go ahead and put it down here and I'm going to stick it behind the paper I'm just going to lift it up a little bit and okay I'm going to take the glue dot and Put it right here 
I'm going to go ahead and snip this a little bit because I just want it to go around the flag of the the designer series paper that I made with. Let's put it up there so you can see. Okay, so it will stick there and then we're going to put this right here. And I think it will look like, once I put the bow on it, it will look like an ornament on this red and white card. So it says, Merry Christmas to you. And then I've already made this cute little bow. And you just double the cording, and it's a double bow. And I think it is really cute because it makes just... A little bit more shine on it okay so Merry Christmas to you we've got this red and white card let me show you a few others this is just red and white with them cut out and a little splatter put on it the same way I did this to make the ornaments so just another way to look at it then this one love this one and the cool thing about this is it's the photopolymer so you can look right through and you can see where you're stamping to make your designer series paper and then this one is just the snowflake I made this a gift card holder I just trimmed the card stuck right here and I only adhered it on the bottom and the side so you can put a gift card in there and this last one right here it's got a fun fold and we'll be doing a future video on this fun fold so stay tuned for that. I don't think it will necessarily be for Christmas, but we'll do it some other paper, but it's a really fun fold. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing my red and white cards for this year. Have a good day, and we'll see you next time on Watch It Weekly Wednesday.